Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Let's come to our next question. That why Abdul Muttalib is called Abdul Muttalib? What was Abdul Muttalib's real name? Now let's get to a little bit of history of the father of Abdul Muttalib. And while doing so, I want to talk about a little bit about the lineage of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, rather his ancestors. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the son of Abdullah. Abdullah is the son of Abdul Muttalib. So Abdul Muttalib is the grandfather of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Abdul Muttalib's father is Hashim. So great-grandfather of Prophet Muhammad is Hashim. And Hashim is the son of Abd Manaf. So Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim bin Abd Manaf. So we will be talking a little bit about Hashim and a little bit about Abdul Muttalib's life just to focus on this fact that why Abdul Muttalib was called Abdul Muttalib. Hashim, who died at a very young age, was born a little over a hundred years before Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's wa sallam birth. Hashim had five wives as reported in the books of history and out of his five wives, the last one was Salma bint Amr. Salma, the daughter of Amr, she was from Yathrib, which is Medina to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was, Salma was from a tribe of Khazraj and specifically from the branch called Bani Najjar. Hashim used to go on several trade routes, and one of them was going towards Syria. And this used to be during the summertime. So Hashim, on one of his journey, went past Yathrib. And Yathrib was on the trade route. There was a very strong and famous woman of Yathrib by the name of Selma. So Hashim sent her a proposal for marriage. Selma, being such an influential woman and such a wealthy and politically strong woman, she refused most men because she was looking for somebody who is as strong as her. And Hashim, being in the capacity of the chief of Makkah, was certainly in a position to do that. Salma didn't refuse Hashim's proposal, however, did put a proposal of her own on the table saying, Hashim, I am not moving to Makkah. I will stay in Medina. You can come and visit me on your routes to Syria whenever you are here on the, on the trip or for any other time. So they got married and Hashim stayed in Medina or Yathrib for a few days and then went on on his trade journey. Unfortunately, that was Hashim's last journey. Salma got pregnant with a boy. And Hashim, who was on his way all the way to Syria, stayed in Palestine in a place called Gaza, which we know, now know as well. It's a very famous place for wrong reasons, but Gaza. And that's exactly where Hashim died. And Salma, who was pregnant with Abdul Muttalib, Abdul Muttalib was born. Nobody in Makkah knew about this particular marriage of Hashim as well, except for those people who were on this caravan with Hashim. So the news reached Makkah, but nobody had ever met Salma or knew about this particular child that was born from this marriage. Or nobody pursued it. The change of leadership happened in Makkah. And also in the children of Abd Manaf, which is Hashim, Abdul Shams, Nawfil, and Muttalib. These are the four sons of Abd Manaf. So Muttalib is the younger brother of Hashim, and Abdul Shams is an older brother of Hashim. And Nawfil and Hashim have a common father, but different mothers. Anyway, long story short, Abdul Muttalib grew almost to the age of eight years. Now, Abdul Muttalib was not born as, as Abdul Muttalib. Rather, at birth, his name was Shaybah. Why was he named Shaybah? 
The reason he was named Sheba was because he was born with some white hair in his head. Sheba in Arabic means an older person, an elderly. So he was named Sheba. And Hashim was also not Hashim's name at birth. Rather, Hashim's name was Amr. But he became famous as Hashim. And we will learn about that later on when we learn in detail the history of Hashim and Abdul Muttalib as to why Hashim was called Hashim. And as I told you that we will look into the ancestors of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he was born, Abdul Muttalib was born as the name Shayba, the son of Amr, because Hashim's real name was Amr. Shayba, when he was approximately eight years of age, Hashim's younger brother Muttalib, he was informed in Mecca that you have a nephew in Medina, in Banu Najjar, and he is at an age where the child doesn't need to stay with mother anymore. How about you bring him to Mecca and raise him and give him what his father had? So Muttalib traveled all the way to Yathrib and met Salma bin Amr from Banu Najjar and said, Salma, I am here to get my brother's son so that I can take him back to Mecca. Initially, Salma resisted and said, how can I send my only child with you, my only son with you? This is the only son of Hashim I had. And Muttalib convinced her. And to Arabs, as you know, honor was a big deal. And he said, Salma, think about it. If he stays here, he will not be able to grow politically, economically, socially as strong as if he's in Makkah because he's son of Hashim. Who else will become the chief of Makkah but the son of Hashim? And all of these little things convinced. And then some historians say, say that uh, Salma asked Abdul Muttalib, that Abdul Muttalib, would you like to stay here or go into your father's country or homeland, Makkah? And Abdul Muttalib also chose to go to Mecca. Anyway, Muttalib is riding a camel and Abdul Muttalib is, or Sheba is sitting with him. They arrive in Mecca. Now nobody knows about Sheba or Abdul Muttalib, the son of Hashim. So everybody assumed that Muttalib, the uncle of Abdul Muttalib, has bought a slave from a slave market because they used to buy um, slaves who were children and they used to use them in household chores or little duties and when these kids will be strong and uh, young and strong then they will use them for hard labor so they thought and also so they thought that Muttalib bought a slave and they didn't know the name of the slave so everybody started calling this child Abdul Muttalib Muttalib's slave Abd means slave so that's how people in Mecca started calling him Abdul Muttalib not knowing what his real name was thinking he's a slave boy of Muttalib and that name became so famous that Abdul Muttalib's real name, Shayba, dwindled in history. Now, Abdul Muttalib grew up in Mecca, and Abdul Muttalib came, became in charge, or became the chief of Mecca, and all of that history for some other time, but today we wanted to focus just on this, that why Abdul Muttalib is called Abdul Muttalib, and how he got this name, and what was his real name? And this was quite common in Arabia that certain names which were given to the people at birth took the back seat and other names took over. Abdul Muttalib and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you look at their lives, there are a lot of similarities that you will find. Abdul Muttalib, when he was born, his father Hashim had already passed away. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was born, his father, Abdullah, had already passed away. Abdul Muttalib was raised 
till the age of eight years by his mother and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was raised till the age of six years by his mother. Now for, in case of Abdul Muttalib, his mother didn't pass away. In case of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his mother passed away. But they all, both of them lived only till the very young age with their mothers. And then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the age of eight onwards was raised by his uncle, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's uncle Abu Talib and Abdul Muttalib was raised by his uncle Muttalib. A lot of similarities in this regard between the two personalities. And then when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Medina, it was the people of Banu Najjar because Salma is the grandmother of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the great-grandmother of Prophet ﷺ, means his grandfather's mother, so great-grandmother of Prophet ﷺ. So these people of Banu Najjar were constantly calling Prophet ﷺ to, to come and stay with them because they said that we are related to you through your great-grandmother Salma. And Khazraj, being a Yemeni tribe, as I told you before, when Abdul Muttalib went to Yemen, Saif that I told you about, who was the guy who went all the way to the Persian emperor and got an army to attack and kill the rule of uh, Masruq, the son of Abraha. So after the defeat, when Saif celebrated the freedom of the Hamarites, Abdul Muttalib went to meet Saif bin Diyazan, and then at that time, Saif also honored Abdul Muttalib on this very fact that Abdul Muttalib's mother, Salma, is also of the Yemeni origin, and Saif is also of the Yemeni origin. And what happened between the two when the two met, and what things Saif told to Abdul Muttalib, and that is for another day. But today, I wanted to just focus on why Abdul Muttalib is called Abdul Muttalib, what was his real name, and some of the other details that you guys may be interested in. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We still need to follow on a lot of those questions that which list, the list is compiled and, and created based on the questions that are coming from you guys. So inshallah, we will also discuss the history of the ancestors of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and who among his ancestor came in the leadership position of Makkah and displaced Banu Khuza'a. Inshallah, some other time and also we need to talk about how the Hindu tribes came and settled in Arabia. But all of this and more next time. Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you're watching us on TikTok, we don't know if TikTok gets banned in the United States of America and you won't be able to see our videos on TikTok. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Thinking Muslim, so that you don't miss another video of this beautiful pre-Islamic history of Arabia. Assalamu Alaikum.